The average price of a condo in Ottawa increased by over $60,000 in 2021. Will the prices continue to grow? Stick around and find out. Welcome back. My name is Andrew with The Meadow Group and today we're talking condos here in the auto real estate market. As you've probably heard, condos have been a hot topic throughout last year and with good reason. So why condos? What makes them so special? Let's start with some numbers to get you caught up on the hype. So back in 2020, the average sold price for a condo, and by the way, condos include apartments, stack units, and townhomes, was trading at $357,783. Fast forward to the end of 2021, the average sold price was $418,519. That's an increase of 17% or just over $60,000. So now the question becomes, will condo prices continue to rise in 2022? I'm gonna give you my top three arguments to support this. Number one, low inventory. Back in November of 2021, we were sitting at one month of inventory. That means the whole city of Ottawa would be sold out if no other new listings came onto the market. And I don't think that new listings would just magically come onto the market either. That also means condos would be the more affordable option. The difference between a condo and a residential home is $298,000. I'm gonna say that again. That's almost a $300,000 difference. Number two, the buyer pool. Who are buying condos these days anyways? Well, you have your first time home buyers, investors, downsizers, so the ones that are typically coming from a detached home to a smaller footprint with less maintenance, and of course, your luxury segment. But the question still remains, what can you afford based on the income that you produce? And the answer is condos, as the average income producer does. Here's a link to a past video that breaks down the type of properties available for under 500,000 in Ottawa. Number three, under $500,000 options. Look, it's going to come down to a much bigger down payment if you want a more expensive property. The lending rules change and most people just don't have that kind of an amount or the requirements. A gradual uptick in mortgage rates will make affordability a top consideration for home buyers in the future. Demand will keep the market competitive and fast paced as builders continue to ramp up production to meet the issue of supply. But what you do have is year over year appreciation. There hasn't been a decrease here in Ottawa in 25 years. We are still a very young and undervalued market. And as that equity or value grows in a couple of years, that will give you options for your next property that you're considering. So yes, I do think that the prices will continue to increase as the demand and lack of inventory will put pressure on the condo market. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.